How to attract a girl that isn't interested. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about how to attract a girl that isn't interested in you. So the first point that I wanna get into is attraction isn't a choice. And that's a quote I use all the time on my channel. Um, and it's a quote by another dating coach called David D'Angelo. And there's a video actually that I'd like you to watch if you haven't watched it already um, about why attraction isn't a choice. So I highly recommend that you go and watch this video of David D'Angelo explaining why attraction isn't a choice. But fundamentally, we can't really help who we are attracted to. And the same goes for this woman, this girl that you are trying to pursue. Like if they're not attracted to you, there's not really that much you can do. However, there are a few little things that you can do to like give you the best possible chance. But um, if this girl isn't attracted to you, then there's not really that much you can do. And we all know attraction isn't a choice because, you know, as a lesbian, I'm not attracted to every single woman I've ever seen. I'm not, you know, I don't wanna be in a relationship with every single woman I've ever seen. And that goes the same for guys as well. Like if you're a guy watching this, then you're probably not attracted to every single woman that you've ever seen. You probably don't have that connection with every single woman you've ever came into contact with. And it's the same for her. Like she probably isn't attracted to every single guy that she sees because we all have our own preferences. We all have our kind of like this inner radar of what we are attracted to. And you know, the women that I'm attracted to might not be the women that you're attracted to. Um, just like for some women, like the guys that they're attracted to, other girls might think, oh, why are you attracted to him? Like we all have our own kind, we can't help but like what we like basically. We can't help but feel attraction for whoever we feel attraction for. It's just something that's naturally built into our system um, that we can't really change. So that's one thing that I want you to kind of consider because it might be the case that this girl just isn't attracted to you and is never going to be attracted to you. But obviously it's up to you to kind of figure out whether or not that is true or not. Because everybody's circumstance is different. Like someone watching this might be thinking about a girl who definitely is never going to be attracted to them. Or someone else watching this might be, you know, might think that, oh, this girl isn't interested in me, but you're not 100% sure yet. And there could be a chance that she is interested in you or something like that. Or it could be a case where she said she's not interested in you, but she is a little bit. She might have other things going on in her life right now. Like we don't really know 100% you know, because everyone's circumstance is different and every woman that you're gonna come into contact with is going to be different. But just keep in mind that attraction isn't a choice. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if there's anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments or if you have any tips and advice yourself. Thank you so much. What can you do to basically put yourself in the best position possible to get a girl to be interested in you if you feel like she's not interested in you? So one of the great ways that you can do this is by using rapport. Now rapport is basically when you are kind of in sync with another person. So one of the best ways that you can get into rapport with another human being is by matching and mirroring them. So this is like matching um, their body movements, um, matching their facial expressions, perhaps even matching kind of like the the sound of their voice. Like if, if let's say a woman comes up to you and when she speaks to you, she kind of speaks kind of like quite softly. You know, when you speak to her then, you speak softly. Perhaps she's got like a frown on her face, so therefore you put a frown on your face. Because we like people who are like us. You know, we don't tend to like people who are not like us or, or not like who we want to be. I think that's the correct way. So we like people who we are like, or we like people who we are, who we want to be like, right? Whereas we don't like people who we um, don't want to be like and who are not like us. And so in knowing that, if we like people who are like us, then if you become more like her, now I don't mean like, you know, dressing the same way that she does and have, you know, having your hair long or whatever it might be, um, I don't mean that, but I do mean like the body language, right? Just move your body in the way that she moves her body. Um, especially when you are talking to her face to face. So like if she's frowning, then you put a frown on your face. You know, if she's kind of like tapping her toe, you tap your toe. If she's got her arms crossed, you put, you put your arms crossed. So when you're talking to her, match and mirror what she does and she'll start to 
like you. Now, one thing though is that she might not start to like you in a romantic way, she might start to like you as a friend. But again, the, one of the best ways that you can get a woman to be interested in you, um, if you are worried that she doesn't like you in the same way, is to start matching a mirror what she's doing, because at least then she will have that kind of connection with you and she'll think that you're a good person, she will start to think, hmm, there's something about this guy I just like, or there's something about this girl that I just like, I can't put my finger on it. And it's because you're matching and mirroring what she's doing and you are being more like her, you are matching and mirroring what she does. I highly recommend that you go and watch this video, results come when you stop caring. So the next way is, is an obvious one, and that is do whatever you can to become more attractive. So if you're, um, if you're overweight or something like that, and you feel like you'd be more attractive if you lost weight, then lose weight. If you think your clothes are ugly and tatty, then get new clothes. Basically, you wanna be doing all that you can to make yourself more attractive, especially if you are single and you do want to get into a relationship. Even if you don't attract this woman, you will probably attract another woman, perhaps a woman that's even better. So do whatever you can, basically, to make yourself more attractive. So the next thing that you can do is to become someone that people like to be around. So if you're a likable person, if you're someone that's fun and interesting and positive, then you know people are one are gonna spend their time with you. Whereas if you're someone who's negative and you're always complaining about your job or about your life or about work or whatever it is, right? If you're always someone that's always complaining and being a negative Nelly, you know, people aren't gonna wanna stay around those kinds of people because it drains their energy. Now, obviously it's true that misery loves company. Even after a while, when two miserable people get together and they start complaining about their lives, one wants to kind of start escaping because the other one's basically way too miserable, you know, basically. So even though that's a thing, <clears throat> it's better to, so even though that is a thing, it's better to be a positive person. Now, one of the examples I like to use is just imagine the person who you either went to school with or who you go to work with that always makes the shift or whatever you're doing fun. Think of that person, think of that person who you always want on your team because they're the person that always makes it more enjoyable than everything else. You know, they're really fun, they make it, everything turns funny, um, the time just seems to whiz by because you're around someone who is so enjoyable to be around. Make yourself into that kind of person. Become one of those people that people love to gravitate towards, that love to be, that love to be around them. Become one of those kinds of people. And if you know someone who is like that, you know, ask them questions. Or say to them, oh, what do you think about, you know, you know, how, what's your view on the world? Like, how do you, you know, stay so positive all the time? You know, ask them what they've done and what they've done to do that and match and mirror what they do. So, you know, wh what I said about how to get a, a woman more into you and liking you more, you know, by matching and mirroring their, you know, their body, um, their, their body language and their facial expressions and the tone of their voice. Also do that with, you know, this person who makes things fun. So you can start copying them and being more like them. And then you will become one of those people that people love to be around. And therefore, it might get this woman more interested in you, or it might get other women more interested in you who are even better. So start to become one of those kinds of people that can make everything fun for everybody else. Now, obviously, it doesn't mean that you become like a class clown. It doesn't mean that you don't do your job if you're at work and stuff like that. Obviously, it's good to be a person with integrity as well. Um, and someone who takes initiative and gets work done, but be with someone who can get the work done, who does the right things, but also makes it enjoyable for everybody else. Because obviously you don't wanna be a slacker, because if you become a slacker, then uh, obviously you might lose your job or you won't get good grades at school, depending on your age and what you're doing with your life right now. You know, you wanna be one of those people that's effective with what they do, but also makes it enjoyable for everybody else. That's the idea. So the next point I wanna get into is creating a life that you are proud of and that you, and becoming more ambitious. So um, ambition is a really attractive trait and this is something I talk about a lot, but it really is. People like people who are going for things in life that um, don't wanna be the same, that are trying to achieve more, that are trying to get somewhere, that are trying to make their life a lot better, that, that people that are trying to design a lifestyle that they enjoy and that they care about and that they like, because a lot of people don't do those things. A lot of people just kind of try to get through the week to the weekend. You know, that's what most people do when they're, when they're in a job. 
But what you want to be doing is you want to be trying in, to enjoy every step of the process. You want to be trying to like, okay, well, I've got a job I need to go to. But, you know, when I leave that job at the end of the day, I want to, you know, be doing things that I enjoy. And so you enjoy your lifestyle. So you're not just going home and watching Netflix. Although if that's something that you really love doing, then, okay, carry on doing that. But perhaps you can do other things while you're doing that. So let's say you're an artist and you really love painting and stuff like that. Or you want to practice an instrument and you want to get really good at that. You want to turn that into a career or something. Then, you know, start doing those things in the evening when you do have some time to yourself. Um, and designing a lifestyle that you're happy with, that makes you feel good about yourself. That um, shows that you are, you know, trying to... Uh, make something of yourself instead of just being someone who just try who's just trying to always just aim to get to the weekend be someone that's trying to do more with their life and it may be the case that you really enjoy your job and you don't want to get a side hustle or, or you don't want to start your own business or you don't want to turn a hobby into a, a job or anything like that you might still want to spend your time in the evening a much better way like you might want to spend it with friends you might want to um, be doing something else, you know, it doesn't have to be like a hobby that you're trying to change into a business, but it might just be a hobby. You want to be basically designing a lifestyle that you are really happy with, that you enjoy, because if you're unhappy right now with your life, then the only person who's going to change that is you. And if you're unhappy with your life, other people are going to notice it. Other people are going to get that from you. Other people are going to sense that vibe from you. So you want to be living a life that you're happy with, because if you're happy with your life, and if you're happy with what you're doing each day, then you're going to come across as more relaxed, more happy, and it's going to make you look more attractive. And if that girl wasn't interested in you, when she starts noticing these changes in you, then perhaps she will start to become more interested in you. But remember, attraction isn't a choice, and it may be the case that she will never be interested in you. However, that doesn't mean that other women won't start finding you more attractive. And therefore, you might even find someone even better for yourself. If you like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.